Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark, and welcome to another episode of Ugh, What Happened to Your Face? What Happened to Your Face? This is the series where I wear a look throughout the night and I update you about what happened to it. Tonight I performed at the Amber Zone with my dear friend Severely Maine. We have a little duo cabaret uh, thing that we do together called Twice as Gold. We perform at this amazing place called Sid Gold's Request Room. If you're ever in New York City, insider tip, go to Sid Gold's. It's a live piano karaoke bar and they have amazing shows every Monday night. My amazing lovely friend Amber Martin who's a phenomenal performer in her own right curates different musical acts to perform and tonight we got to do our thing it was fabulous and then afterwards we sang some live piano karaoke it was awesome I did like a very quick look I didn't have a lot of time to get ready so I just did a very simple eye using the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette uh, and did my my face as usual, and I want to talk about a couple things that happen. So first off, I just want to talk about skin a little bit. So I, you know, when I go out, I always bring a moisturizer, just like a little like hand cream, especially in the winter months, especially up north in New York City, it gets dry. It's crazy. And my favorite, like, hand cream is by this brand, Corez. Uh, it looks like it's Corez, and on this channel in the past I've pronounced it Corez. But it is indeed Corez. It's a Greek brand. It's cruelty-free. It's, like, amazing. This is the nourishing hand cream with almond oil and shea butter. I just lo I can't- I'm gonna put some on. It just feels so good. Like, it's weird. I have very oily skin, but I have dry- patches like eczema and I love like a good moisturizer that's not too greasy but is like really like nourishing and I've really found that this Carez moisturizer is great it's just really lovely anyway so I'm on Octoly which is the site where you can kind of like shop for products to be sent to you it's kind of like a consumer reviewer driven form of like getting sent PR stuff, basically. Like, they don't just send you stuff. You have to actually, like, pick things that you want to review. Anyway, so since I love this Carez hand cream so much, I had them sent me this Carez body butter. Girl, this is, like... So I, you can see how much of it I've used. Like, it is... I've, like, gotten through this. And so even though this series is called What Happened to Your Face, I want to talk about what's happened to my freaking skin on my body since I've been using this. Got this sent to me for free and I have been using it for like a month now. I, I feel great. Like it feels love. Like I feel really nice. I've never like, I don't honestly, I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't have anything to compare this to really. Like I've never used a ton of body butters before. So it's not like I regularly lather my body in a moisturizer every day. So is this better than other body butters? I have no freaking idea. I don't use, but I've never used them before. This is the first one I've ever used. However, I will say I've, I've used a lot of hand creams and this hand cream is amazing. I really love it. What's weird is these are both yogurt based products. Some people have like an aversion to like the smell of yogurt. Like it seems like dairy and sour and weird, but these do not, they don't smell like that. Like, if you're aware that it's a yogurty smell, it makes sense. But it's actually, it's just this, like, beautiful kind of, like, light, very light, like, floral. It smells like a, I don't know, like a Greek farm or something. Like, it's really nice. And it's not super heavy. I'm not into big, heavy scents, except when I want them. So I've, I've been using this hand cream for a couple months now. Love it. It's fabulous. And I've us been using this body butter for, like, a month. And it's great. And I feel like I really... Uh, my skin, like, actually feels smoother. Thanks, Chorus. Thank you for sending this to me. Very nice. If you want to join Octoly, if you are a creator and have a YouTube channel out there, and you want to get shit to review, but you 
nobody knows who the hell you are and like people aren't sending you free shit, go to Optily and you'll you can get free shit to review and you don't have to give a positive review, you just have to give your honest review. There's no obligations to like give it's not like the more positive reviews you give, the more products you get. No, like the more reviews you give, the more ability you get to receive more free products to review. I'm really into it. Like it's, you can watch my consumerism video to hear me talk about like my thoughts about consumerism generally, but I kind of feel like this service, Octoly, is like taking advantage of this consumer driven reporting economy. And anyway, I'm into it. So thank you, Octoly, and thank you, Chorus, for letting me check out your product and give my honest opinion of it, which is, I love it all. Let us talk about shine. I feel like I am like very matte. Like I know the lighting in here is terrible because like there isn't any, but this is one of the least shiny faces I think I've ever come home with. And part of it of course is due to my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs high definition micro finish pressed powder, which I talk about in every one of these freaking videos. But I want to mention in this video, the way that I apply this, this is my e.l.f. Uh, retractable kabuki brush. I don't know what I would do without this brush because it is the... Ugh, it is just so soft. I've had this brush for a while too and I've washed it. I've like taken care of it. It is still so soft. It is synthetic. It is fluffy. It is dense, but it's not too dense. It's not like crazy dense where it's like you're gonna pack on stuff. It's like a perfect powder. It's a perfect kabuki brush. It is the perfect kabuki. <gasps> There's a dog. I talk about this brush in my elf video from way back, which I'll link to, but I, I really love it. Like, the, the, the way it gets the way is so smart. It has this little, because you, know, you can't put the cap on it like that because of course the bristles. But you find the like that, and you put that, and you put that uh, It's just so, okay, the, the thing that I want now, because now that Lunatic came out with singles, headlines, headlines, headlines. The Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette, which I love, I give an amazing review of it, you should check it out. It's my favorite cool contour palette, it's amazing. It's the only thing that I use today to contour my face because I forgot my cream contour at home back in New Orleans, and so I really just use that palette. Anyway, love it, love it, love it. But I've always wanted to be able to take one of the contour shades with me to be able to touch up stuff. Like, I would have probably bumped up my nose contour throughout the night if I had had that contour shade with me. But the palette is kind of big, and so I can't take it with me. But now, Lunatic has the individual contour shades and blush shades and highlight shades from the Cool Contour Palette available for purchase on their website in their own beautiful little container containers. Like, ugh, it's just so gorgeous. I'm so excited. I'm so going to order the shade Medium Cool, which is like, that is the shade that I use to, it's like my best contour shade. I love it. I would love to bring that with me when I go out to be able to touch up stuff. It would be so good. And I would love for there to be a version of this brush that is like double-sided somehow. If anyone knows of a double-sided retractable kabuki brush, that would be money because I could use one side of it for my translucent powder that I use to kind of just blot and whatever and then I would use the other side to be able to touch up my contour because contour is like the one thing that if it fades throughout the night which it kind of has a little bit actually your face shape kind of starts to change right because you've like made your cheeks and whatever and if it especially the nose because it gets so shiny there's so much oil there in that t-zone that as my makeup breaks down like you can see the contour on the end of my nose is like really broken down and so my nose looks like what my nose looks like but i want it to look like a tiny little perfect button nose but if i had like a little single of the lunatic powder and did a little touch up throughout the night i would still have that cute little severely maimed like little button mm, little baby button Okay, so another aspect of the shine reduction, this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I gotta say, like, when I first was using this, I was skeptical, but now I've been using this every time I've done my makeup. I've got the full size now. I love it. And I have absolutely seen an, eff an effect, like a reduction in the amount of shine that's on my face, about uh, the amount of shine that is visible throughout the night as my makeup wears since I've been using this. It is like just absolutely beautiful. I love it. 
Ugh, I love it. It's just amazing. Okay, and the final aspect of the Shine Reduction team, I ran out of Blue Marble, which is like my favorite setting spray. It's like hairspray for your face, basically. It's a very like theatrical situation. It's great. When I came here to New York this time, I was like, I gotta bring something. So I was like, I'm gonna bring an old standby. So I brought this. This is my NYX matte finish setting spray and um hello this stuff is great it's like amazing it's cheap it's like it's not like the blue marble where it like makes your makeup into one like solid layer that will like you know be like immobile it just mattifies and like sets your make it's it's a great it's exactly what it says it works i love it if you want an affordable setting spray i highly Highly recommend this. So this is really the team. It's the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Powder, and the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. These guys together, like, and they're all like different. We've got like a, a drugstore product, a hand makeup product, and an indie brand. Like, this is like, I love this. This is like my thing. I love all different types of brands. I don't use all high end. I don't use all drugstore. I use like a good mix. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Let me talk about one like practical, helpful thing. So, again, this isn't my face, it's my wig. I did not pin this wig on very well. And like during the show, I went full on Three Stooges or whatever. Like the bangs went like. It, it was ridic- it was a little ridic- Luckily, after the gig, I had this. This is a, one of those Bite Beauty tins from the holiday collection that they came out with a couple years ago. A little lipstick sampler. And it's great. It has a little mirror. It's really lovely. Uh, and I brought all my bobby pins and a little uh, sample of- I think this is a- this is Jimmy Choo's Illicit. But I've got my bobby pins in there, and this is just a great, ooh, a great little carrier for any, like, little, little things that you have that, like, you want to st have, you know, stay closed and not pop open. It seals very well. I, I a pet peeve of mine is, like, packaging, excess packaging that is useless. Like, where I talk about it in my 8th anti-haul video where I talk about the acrylic box that comes with the Smashbox blush palette from the holiday, and how... That's like a use, like you don't need like an acrylic neon orange box. Like that's like, you have boxes that can store stuff in your home, you're fine. But this type of packaging, it's like a little Altoid container shape thing. I get infinite use of this. I bring this with me whenever I travel. I always find a use for it. I put something in here. I put like either my uh, perfume samples. I put my bobby pins. And this is great to take out to gigs because it has that mirror in there. I would like it to see if more makeup companies could make packaging for things be something that could be this practical and actually reusable, not something like the cardboard house or something from a Too Faced Christmas thing where like, you're not gonna use that. It's gonna, you're gonna throw it away. It's gonna collect dust. But this I actually use. Anyway, so I just wanted to give a little shout out to this packaging from Bite Beauty because I, I use it. The mirror inside, it's just nice. Okay, finally, we have to talk about the lip disaster that I experienced today. My big plan for today was to film a glitter lip tutorial as I was getting ready. I ended up not having enough time to do that, but I still did a glitter lip. Now, I've done glitter lips before, but I've really just like put glitter on lipstick. I've never really tried the other ways. Like you can use eyelash glue to like put it on your lips and stick the set. You could use like gloss, you could use like an adhesive of some kind. If you remember from my iMats vlog and or haul video, I got some stuff from Lit Cosmetics and one of the products I got was this. This is the Lit Forever Wear Glitter Base for Lip and Body. And I bought it because I was like, oh, it's a way to do a glitter lip that with like a real adhesive and that is waterproof that should last all night, she said, the woman at the lip counter. I also got this. It's a glitter called Sugar Free. It's like a gold reddish gold, really pretty, really pretty glitter. Okay, I'm gonna insert this picture here. This is what happened when I used this product. It was exactly like eyelash glue. It like, my entire, I put it on my lips, it looked great. I let it dry for what I thought was a sufficient time. I touched it, it didn't feel tacky or anything. And I like closed my lips, like 
not even like I didn't do like a heart. I did like a and the whole thing peeled off. It like started peeling off in a chunk like a like when you put glue, like Elmer's glue on your fingers and then it peels off. Like this is exactly that. Like it's not this magical thing that adheres to a flexible changing skin surface and then adapts but doesn't peel off like actually like I don't know like I was expecting it to be this magical adhesive thing that would just let the glitter stick to my lips and like not be gross or whatever but it was gross it was like totally gross look at this picture like it was just this I peel I just peeled it off I don't know if I can try this again I don't know how to try this again I have to like ask someone who knows how to use this if anyone has used the lit forever wear glitter base for lip and body, if you have used this successfully on the lips, tell me how. Because I did I I tried it different. I put the put it I did it the way you're supposed to use the lip uh, adhesive. I put the brush in here. I dipped it in the glitter. I put it on my lips. Then I also brushed some of this on the lips, let it get a little tacky, and then I put glitter on it. Like I did everything, and it didn't. It just did not work. So if you thought this was a, if you have heard of this and you thought it was a miracle product. Uh -uh, it's not. If you have never heard of this, good. Forget about it. Don't don't ever buy it. It's terrible. I gotta say, saving the day for the lip was this. My good old NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is still the little sample that I got from the Sephora birthday gift from last year. I just love it. And today I use Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics liner this is their cosmetic color pencil in the shade nsfw which is not safe for work this is just like a beautiful perfect red and they go really well together they match this is just like a beautiful formula i love the occ pencils because they are safe for eye or lip use or anywhere they're vegan cruelty free fabulous company i love this combo and it freaking saved my lips tonight so thank you nars thank you occ you guys were mvps so that is what happened to my face. A lot happened. A lot happened tonight, people. A lot happened. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what, if you have had any experience with these products, let me know if you have figured out a way to use any of these products that's different in the way that I have or if you've had different experiences with them. I'd love to know your experience. I just always love to know. Please check out my other videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more amazing, practical, fabulous, beauty, life, social justice, consumerist, feminist, awesome shit. Just do it. Just subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye. You guys want to see how badly this wig is pinned on? The real news.